today we're going to paint an autumn themed wood elf and it's going to be part of a war band I'm putting together for Song of Blades and Heroes. We did the winter theme so now we're going to do autumn and probably eventually do all four seasons. Now for our basic colors for what the elf will be wearing we're going to use a couple of shades of gray and brown. For the cloak and some other places we're going to use red, yellow, and this really cool burnt orange called autumn leaves but you can mix up any kind of shade of orange you like and of course we're going to need some elf flesh flesh wash and a shade and for some detail work we'll have some gold and ivory now the miniature we're going to use he's not my most detailed figure he's uh, an archer same model that we used with the winter and we will start off we're going to do brown on the boots gray for the hose and brown for the tunic. So that's our first rough bit. Next thing is we're going to do a little bit of detail work. We're going to do the elf flesh on the face and hands. We will do the uh, quiver and scabbard in brown. We'll do this little piece right here. And we're going to do the where you can see the inside of the cloak in places. We're going to do that in the burnt orange color. All right, so we're making a little progress here. Next thing we're going to do is the back side of the cloak, and the cloak's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go red, orange, and yellow blended, working the way up from dark to light. We want to um, give it the flavor of autumn leaves that are turning, but also maybe a little bit like flames. And this looks really good on a textured cloak, like if you um, had a Warhammer Waywatcher figure that has the, um, like some of them have leaf patterns on the cloaks and things like that. It really looks awesome. But it should look pretty good on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the red part way up. And then let's start bringing in some orange. And it doesn't matter if it mixes and smears. In fact, you know, we want it to mix a little. And if you're not careful, you're just going to pull the red up and not really get that orange effect. So take it a little at a time. And I'm using a, a thicker orange than I normally would. Normally I would thin it out. But I want to make sure that the red doesn't just soak through and show through. And now, let's bring a little yellow into the mix. And I'm going to blend it with the orange. And then on the next layers, we'll have to do a little more blending so it doesn't look all 1970s Houston Astros. If you're a baseball fan, you know what I'm talking about. Let's bring in a little more yellow here. So I'm going to touch up a couple little spots I didn't get, and then we will put a wash on it, excuse me, a shading, put the wash on the flesh, and we'll be ready. So we've completed the first coat of paint, and we've put wash on the flesh and a shade on the model. And in case you're not aware, washes and shades, they're very fine, dark colored, I guess they're very thin paints. And what they're for is they run down into all the little cracks and recesses. So it really brings out the details in the model, especially in one like this one that's plastic and isn't just isn't as quite as finely detailed as a metal miniature, although you can see it's not too bad. Once we uh, put this on there, it really made a big difference in the way the model looks. And one thing you can do, um, 
with a model like this, once you put the white primer on it, sometimes it's difficult to actually see what to paint unless you're really familiar with it. And um, you could go ahead and put a wash over the white primer and that'll bring out all the details so you know where to put down your first coat. But anyway, we're going to give this some time to dry. Then we'll come in and do some highlighting. All right, it's good and dry now. So what we're going to do is add highlights by dry brushing just to the very highest points. So back here on the cloak, down here where it's red near the bottom, we'll go with orange highlights. As we get higher, we'll do yellow. And then we'll dry brush on lighter shades of brown and gray to bring out the details in the tunic and hose. And we'll add a new uh, coat of ivory to the bow. But again, we're just going to do very light dry brushing to bring out the details. So we'll see how it looks. And here we have our completed autumn wood elf warband. To zoom in a little, check them out. Except it refuses to focus. There's the guy we just finished today. And this one, you can see what I mean about the textured cloaks being really fun to paint. Haven't decided what to do about the bases. I'm going to try to find some uh, autumn colored flocking, but overall I think they look pretty cool. That gives us winter and autumn. Here's one of our winter guys, just for contrast. So we're going to do summer and spring before it's all over. Thanks for watching.